for science in our class in January, we are learning all about colours because we think that colours make the world beautiful and colourful. Today we're beginning with white, one of the most important colours in the world. Let's go! The white colour. Do you like clean, simple colours? Many people like the colour white. This mother and daughter are wrapped in a fuzzy white blanket. White things can be found in nature. Let's see if we can find a few. For example, these tulips come in many colours including white. You can find white eggs on a farm. Baby chicks hatch from them. White clouds float through the bright blue sky. What shapes do you see? Cauliflower is a white vegetable. You can eat it for dinner. You can grow white flowers in a garden. These white flowers are called lilies. Do you like them? And then there are white doves that are released at some weddings. They are symbols of love, faith and peace. You can play in newly fallen snow. It covers the ground like a white blanket. Fluffy white snow makes a soft cushion for playing outside or skiing. People also make things that are white. You can doodle on white paper. Teachers write on white dry erase boards in classrooms. Does your classroom or school have dry erase boards? Let me know down below. A passion for paint. Do you like to paint? Artists use white paint to make many colours. You can try it too. For example, if you blend white paint with other colours, you will make lighter shades of those colours. A dollop of white in purple paint will create a soft lilac colour. White mixed with blue makes sky blue. White combined with red makes a colour pink. And a smidge of white in orange paint makes a lovely shade of peach. Now let's talk about the meaning behind white. How do you feel about the colour white? Many important public buildings are white. The White House in Washington DC is the home of the US President. White can make you feel that everything is clean and in order. Doctors and dentists wear white coats partly for this reason. This doctor is about to give her patient a shot. And then there are brides who often wear white dresses when they get married. The colour stands for hope and innocence. Many girls wear white when they celebrate their first communion. Some people feel that white is a holy colour. Angels wear white in many religious paintings. Whitney loves white. Whitney is this girl here and she loves the colour white. Whitney has a white guinea pig named Snowy. A guinea pig may be all one colour or several colours. Its fur may be white, black, brown, tan or cream. Whitney has a white computer, white furniture and white clothes. She feels rested and relaxed in her white bed. What is your favourite colour? Let me know down below. Now let's go through some new words we learnt from today's book. The first word is dollop, which means a little bit. Doodle is to make a little drawing. Experiment is to try something out in different ways. Innocence is the state of being pure and harmless. Release is to set free. Religious is a part of an organised faith. Shade is the darkness of a colour. And finally, symbol is something that stands for something else. Now it's your turn. What do you feel about the colour white? Share with me down below. And also tell me what are some favourite things you have that are white colour. Take some time to think about it. And when you're ready, I'll see you in the next lesson for some more learning fun. That's all for now. See you next time. Bye bye.